Oh, oh, hey, Ari. How are you? Hey, out for a stroll? Yeah. Nice, nice. I'm seeing you here at Shanti House. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks for inviting me. Yeah. While you're showing me around, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, of course. So how did you hear about Shanxi? Yeah, so I heard about Shanxi through, um, I was a Bonner Scholar and Ted came to give a talk about Shanxi at, during my first semester, first year. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And what hobbies are you going to pick up while in Aceh? Oh yeah, so I'm going to be right by the beach in Banda Aceh, so I'm definitely learning how to surf. And who are you most excited to visit? Ooh, I can't wait to eat with Tiffany and Dina and Taigo. Oh, that would yeah, be so, so great. Me, yeah, let me show you inside. Thank you. Oh, wow. Hey, Tiffany. Shanti, Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. What's something you learned while you were abroad? Mm, pack light and don't be afraid to try new things. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of packing, what's something that you'll be sure to pack? Mm, my herbal inhaler that helps with my nausea. Oh, that's a must. And how does it feel to have a close friend as your co-fellow? Um, it's exciting. Um, I'm very excited to try new things with someone I um, really trust, and Dina is amazing. Speaking of Dina, hi! Hi, hi, welcome! <laughs> thank you, thank you. And what's your favorite part of the Shanxi orientation? Um, it's tough. I would have to say our Pacha Pucha competition that we just did. Uh, we had to pitch each of our sites and try and convince each of the fellows why they should come visit us. Is there any advice for future Shanxi applicants? Um, I would definitely say don't feel scared to reach out to any of the current or former fellows. You know, we're all a big family here and we really like to help each other out. Also, Ted gives great advice, so he knows what he's talking about. Just listen to him. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And can you say something in Mandarin really quick for us? Yeah, um, 我什么都不知道. That's what I Okay, <laughs> that's great. Oh, hi guys! Paris, hi! Hey! Hey, what activity from Oberlin will you carry with you at your site? Oh, well, I'm definitely going to keep writing, and I'm also hoping to get through all the books on my reading list. Oh, great, great. And how do you feel about learning to ride a motorbike? Oh, I'm really nervous. That's probably the thing I'm most nervous about, because I am i don't have great, like, motor skills. So oh. hopefully um, it'll be okay. It'll be fun. I'm sure you'll do great. And what are the top two places that you're excited to visit once you arrive? Oh, well, I really want to go to the drag show in Georgia, and I'm also really excited to visit the Chicken Church, which is a church that looks like a chicken. <laughs> Be sick. Oh, oh, oh hey, that. didn't see you there. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi, and what's the first thing that you'll do once you get a coat to Giri? Um, you know, I think I'm gonna have to check my house for wild monkeys and angry bulls. So S smart, yeah. smart. And what's the best piece of advice you heard during orientation? Um, don't swim in fresh water because you could get like a thousand diseases, apparently. Oof, and since you're one of the few fellows who will not be teaching, what's part of your job at the Keystone Foundation that excites you the most? I'm really excited to hopefully make documentaries about environmental conservation um, and go on some crazy hikes. Oh yeah, that would be so cool. Oh, hey, Risa. Hey, Risa. Oh, hey, Jeff. Sorry to bother you Hi, grabbing you. a drink. Um, I just have a question about, I know you grew up in Japan. What are you really excited to return to? Yeah, so my parents live there, my dog's there. So I'm really excited to be around them more. Oh, that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. And you're a phenomenal singer. What's your go-to karaoke song? Okay, so it's got to be The Climb by Miley Cyrus from the Hannah Montana movie. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and can you sing us a song about Shanxi? Yeah. So there's one that goes, Shanxi's like a melody in my head that I can't get out. Got me singing like, na 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 na, every day. It's like my iPod stuck on replay. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Surprised I haven't heard that on the radio yet. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Leo. It's good to see you. Can you give us a 10 second Shanxi history lesson? Yeah. Well, it goes, uh. We <laughs> yeah, and we heard you're a foodie. What dish are you most excited to eat in Machadia? I'm most excited to eat some ramen. Ramen, ramen's a must. And what's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Pizza out of a trash can. Oh, that's a bad one. And what's the best thing you've ever eaten? Also pizza out of a trash can. That's also bad. Uh, Donnie, hey. Oh, hey. Sorry, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How does it feel to be the inaugural fellowship of restarting Shanxi's partnership with American College in Merdiga? Yeah, so I'm really excited to go to Madurai. Um, it's been like 15 years or so, which is, you know, a pretty long time. Um, so, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to be at the helm of that, you know, kind of bringing that relationship um, back to where it was before. Yeah, know? definitely. What's a message you'd like to give yourself two years from now at the end of your fellowship? Hmm. Maybe nap. 
Maybe don't buy that Beyonce wig. I don't know, you know. Those are some good ones. And any plans for life after Shaanxi? After Shaanxi, I don't know. I'll probably try to, you know, pursue a career at the State Department. And if that falls through, I just love my mommy. I love my mommy. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'll show you the terrace. I'll show you the rest of the house. You Please, thank you so much. Oh my God. Oh, oh wow. Hi, Shaanxi fellows. It's good to see you guys. Wow, we got everybody out here. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for having me. It's been great.